First off, there's a there's a huge difference between graffiti and vandalism. A lot of what goes on today is vandalism. Where graffiti started, and those guys were in, insane. They'd hit anything and everything. Um, I think a lot more people had a, a, a lot better idea of, of um, the rules of the game. You don't hit things that are businesses that are open. You don't just go and spray on somebody's car. You find somewhere that's going to be torn down anyway, and you spray all that, and you blow that fucking place up. I'm sure you can add a beep in there somewhere. Has it changed? No, graffiti will never change. The attitude towards graffiti is constantly changing. It just depends on how you do it and how much respect you have for everybody else in your community. In Atlanta and D.C., there's a lot of kids running around with guns. Because the whole rule is, is if you're going to blow some piece up and there's something already there, if what you do isn't ten times better than what they did, they're going to come and find you. Or they're just going to come and find you. Which, you know, isn't graffiti to me. That just sounds like gang shit. A bunch of people playing games. Take all the fun out of it. There's a big difference between graffiti and just going out and vandalizing. Just because you got a spray can in your hand doesn't mean you know what you're doing. People think, you know, hey, I'm just going to go grab a can of spray paint and write three letters on a wall over and over and over and over again, and I'm going to get some sort of notoriety for that. I mean, it's like, it's like uh, hey, I want to be a guitar player, so you pick up Guitar Hero. And I was like, God, damn, that's lame, man. You know, try a little harder. Try and find some kind of style, some kind of, some kind of passion in it, you know? Don't just go out there with a spray can and think that you're, you know, the king. And if you're hitting somebody's business that's open out here, if, if you're a business owner and you have graffiti on your wall and you don't get it cleaned up, you get fined by the city as a business owner for not cleaning up the spot. So it costs people money. And, uh, yeah, it... I don't think it's graffiti. I think it's people with no sense. Because there's plenty of places out there, they just don't want to look for it. They want to run down the street. Whereas everyone who actually does graffiti says boo. That, that just doesn't work. And none of us appreciate it. I don't think I have any regrets on anything I've done. It's just like anything else, man. I mean, it's art. If you're doing it for the right reasons, then you'll do it for life. You can't really walk away from something that you love. And you're not going to give it up. And I'll probably be doing it till the day I die. I wouldn't suggest anybody gets into it if they're not into it. But if you are into it, you should never stop because a lot of good can come out of that, I think. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think we'll call that one a a dunner.